Hey there, it's Alex from Inside Gadgets, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the pin change interrupt on the AT Tiny 85. I'm going to show how we enable it and why it's used. Uh, so we've just got the AT Tiny 85 hooked up to an LED, and we're just going to be enabling the pin change interrupt just on one pin. Okay, so we've got the data sheet open, and we're just going to jump over to the interrupts and we want the pin change interrupt so that's PC int 0 now we just need to find what registers we need to uh, write 1 to to enable it so the first one is actually the general interrupt mass register and we actually need to enable bit 5 and it says pin change interrupt enable so when we write 1 to it and when we uh, write 1 to the I bit which is actually done for us so we don't have to worry about that part then the uh, pin change interrupt is enabled and it says here that any any change on any enabled PC in 5 to 0 pin will cause an interrupt and it says we have to actually enable this in the PC MCK register and so we just scroll down and it's right here pin change mass register and it's bits 5 to 0 so that corresponds to the 6 pins of the AT Tiny and so what we do we in our case we're going to enable um, digital pin 1 so that's uh, PC into 1 and so we just write 1 to that and it will just enable the interrupt on that specific pin so if we go back to here we'll be using uh, it's actually pin 6 but uh, it's digital pin 1 for us. So what exactly is a pin change interrupt? A pin change interrupt is when you go from low to high or from high to low. Both of these will trigger the interrupt. Now if we actually do a bit of reading here, normally you would have the circuit set as an input so uh, any input to the pin would change it, uh, would trigger the interrupt. Um, but it says here that you can actually have uh, it can actually be triggered as an output so instead of setting it as an input you would have the pin as an output and when you enable that as high or low that will actually trigger it as well and it says that's actually useful if you're doing uh, software interrupt so why would you use a pin change interrupt over the external interrupt the only real reason that I can see is that if you're actually using this pin which is for the interrupt zero if you're using it for something else or if you need more uh, pins to do interrupts on um, but you gotta remember that if you do the pin change and you enable for these two and these other two pins that if any of these triggers it will just um, just trigger just the one vector just your one interrupt you can't you won't have multiple for each pins you would just have one that gets triggered and just to explain this external interrupt it actually allows you to um, set what it actually does so it says here it can be triggered by falling or rising or low edge uh, and that's uh, all defined here so you can say what kind of um, if you want it if it goes low or if it goes high or if it changes um, or it's you can all just it can be defined for this one right here so if you have a specific need for the interrupt then you would you should be using int zero um, and you should be specifying which one of these you need to have for that interrupt so in my example I'm going to have the LED blink for one second and then the AT Tiny will go to sleep until the interrupt uh, interrupts it. So let's, uh, the LED is hooked onto digital pin 1 and the interrupt will happen on digital pin 1. Um, so let's uh, just include the standard uh, sleep file and this to set a bit on and off, um, the pin LED. Um, this will be the uh, the interrupt and so the first thing we need to do is turn on the pin change interrupt so if you remember um, back over here 
first thing we had to do was turn bit 5 on of the GI MSK and that's what we're doing here the SPI means turn this pin on and that's the PCIe and so we're turning that on the next thing we do is we want to enable it for digital pin 1 and that's for the PC MSK and so we're turning that one on as well and now we go over to the loop so uh, when it first starts up the LED will blink for a second and then it'll go to the system sleep and just got the standard system sleep um, procedure here and then we've got the interrupt uh, declaration here for the uh, we've got to remember that it's PC int 0 as per the interrupt over here and so we can go ahead and compile that, upload that to the ATtiny and uh, we'll test it out. So what we're going to see happen in, in this example is we'll see that the light will go on and for one second and then it will go to sleep and we'll actually have the pin uh, not connected to anything and once we um, put it to the VCC uh, this will wake up from the sleep and then it will shine the LED again for one second and then it will go back to sleep and now if we actually leave this one on high it will continue sleeping until we set it to low and that time the LED will light up again so as I said before it can be triggered either going to low to high or high to low okay so f now for the example I'm just going to disconnect it and reconnect it again and the LED will go on for a second and then now it's in the actual sleep mode and what you'll uh, I'll plug in this wire to the interrupt and what you notice is that the pin for the interrupt isn't grounded or isn't pulled up to VCC and so this means that it's just uh, kind of floating so anything will change it change the pin to high or to low so if I connect this wire up and it's being connected to nothing um, just if I touch that it will actually change so I can keep doing that and it will trigger the interrupt so what we need to do is pull it uh, for my example I'll be pulling it to ground okay so I've got the 10k resistor installed we'll plug in the wire and we see that nothing has happened that's what we want and so we'll connect this one up to um, VCC to say that we're putting it on high and it triggers so that's that's what we're expecting now well what I'll do is I'll leave it plugged in there and so now it's actually registered as being high so when I take it off you'll see the light go on so that's just as I was saying before that it can be triggered going from low to high or high to low Thanks for watching, hope you've learnt something from this and see you next time.